everybody, Don Kendrick here with some good news. The good news is that you're only going to hear good news here. I am a repurposed news reporter and I am finally doing the stories that have been burning in my heart for so long. They're stories that uplift, encourage, and inspire. And they are real and they're raw and they're vulnerable. They're the good stuff stories. And we see it over and over again that through it all, through the middle of our biggest challenges, together we can, together we will. Let's go see the good and be the good. On your market set, let's go. Hey, y'all. We are so looking forward to bringing you our God at Work series of stories over the next few months. We named them God at Work in honor of my mama, Marlene Kendrick, who passed away on February 23rd. Because if you knew our mama, you knew those words, God at Work. She was forever teaching us to see God in everything. So this series is for you all as much as it is for ourselves and reminding ourselves that we can, in fact, allow God to work through us by seeing the good in others and being the good for them. Hey, hey, Good Stuff family. If you happen to be at a crossroads in your life, we say pivot, a pivot. And sometimes if you're like me, you hear that and you're like, what does that mean? Where do I go? Where do I turn? You feel something and you're not exactly sure what's next. You know, it's different. And you know, in your heart that it feels like a calling after you maybe you've spent an entire lifetime in a career Well, if this is you, if this is speaking to you, the Pat and Tom Trantner story is one that you're going to want to take in. I, uh, I'm going to pull them up right now. These are, hi guys. Hi, Hi, how you doing? (laughs) I just see you and it makes me smile. (laughs) And here, this is the thing. If you are um, listening in podcast mode, you can go to the goodstufffamily.com and see the links to our video stream so that you can uh, see this couple who I admire so much. And this is the thing, a theme here, you guys, Pat and Tom, literally the first time I've laid eyes on you was when you clicked in for this broadcast. Yes. Correct? That's right. right. But I felt like I knew your hearts and your souls before, just from chatting, just from hearing our friend Denise pass your story on. And that's the kind of people we want to be, I think, if it's a good stuff family, the people whose heart and soul precedes any even physical appearance. That's right. Yeah. Do you kind of subscribe to that yourself? Oh, yes, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And so you felt, speaking of heart and soul, I want to give a little background before we get into that calling. It feels like a pulling of your heart from God, doesn't it? But let's give some background. First of all, a round of applause for just celebrating 50 years married. 50 years, yes. 50 50 years. years. (laughs) Tom, what's that feel like? A long time. (laughs) You're cracking me up. All right. (laughs) A long time. But high school sweethearts, is that right? Yes, we met when we were 18 years old at Willoughby South High, uh, still in school, and we just uh, fell in love with each other there at school, and the rest is history. Married, and 50 years later, uh, we have, well, you could probably tell me about the kid, or ask me about the children. Well, I gotta, we got to elaborate a little bit on uh, how we met, because we uh, grew up about a mile or so of Part. We went to the same dances, same parties, some of the same friends. And she was even next door at my neighbor's house because of CYO, it's a Christian organization. And I never laid yeah, eyes on this woman all through all those years of school. And uh, we're at, uh, she was talking to a friend of mine in what they call the LGI at Willoughby South. It's outside the lunchroom. It's where people gather and talk. And Joey called me over and he said, hey, Tom, come here. And I went over he said, you know, Patty. And I said, no, I never met her in my life. I've never seen her. He said, oh, come on, you know, Patty. I go, I don't know her. I said, Tom. Uh, and I think that God had kept us apart through all that adolescence and all that stuff, because I definitely would have blown it. And so uh, when I did lay eyes on her, I did fall in love with her that moment. And uh, we were married about six months later. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. It was After six high months and you were married? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> and okay, let me just, I'm going to put my glasses on for this one. Is this correct? Six kids, 16 grandchildren, and six great grandchildren. Correct. That's correct. Yes. Unbelievable. And I saw when they were all singing happy birthday to you, it was yes. like, um, <laughs> like you had a, an audience. <laughs> I mean, like a, a bona fide audience you brought yes. in and they're all saying grandma happy and birthday we, and three grandma, of them we missed mom. them three were say? still in arizona so three were still gone but that was the ones that live in ohio yeah it was a lot of grandchildren yeah and there there's nothing better is it to see what you nothing. you know do you, sometimes tom and pat do you sit back and go we made that we did that yes and we just feel really blessed by i don't God. know if you have time to really think like that <laughs> there's always something going on you know, we have a, a, a big family and we have a nice home and a pool and, you know, we have... Uh, we're blessed by God. We're blessed to have all those children and uh, we we don't get too freaked out when everybody's there at once, you know, and it's a lot, but, uh, you know, we are very blessed. You know what I call it is our tribe. We have a tribe. It's your tribe. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. So I think I'm going to pull up when you sent these notes... Um, I noticed, you know, it was a kind of a timeline, but let me just pull up. This is what I noticed that I stuck out. Thankful for all God's blessing. You just said that. Yes. Why is, it, why is it that you're constantly, I just gave you an opportunity to brag about making all of these fantastic future, the future, you know, of kids and the grandkids. And you immediately say, blessed by God. Why is that you guys? Well, for me, um, I know that all blessings come from God and um, Tom and I both, both have a prayer life. We pray together and uh, we know that God, we are his children and you know, you're like special when you're God's children, he blesses you when you obey God and you live a, a good godly clean life and just on, you know, pray to him and honor him. You get his blessings. Just like in the Bible, if you read the Bible, all the people that walked with God were blessed. So, we feel so blessed by him in the, in all our children, our grandchildren, our home, like Tom said, our pool. And we know it's from God that he is the one giving it to us. Yeah, we thank God for, you know, we have a prayer every morning and take communion together every morning. And I think that's so important to break bread together and, you know, the body and blood of Christ. And uh, we ask God to shed his blood all over our house, all over our families, us, all over yes. us to keep sickness away, to keep evil away, to keep things that are not of him away from that household. And we put more hosts out than just two. We take one and then I go out in the yard and break them and put them in the yard and uh, ask God for a blessing over everything he's given us. I was listening the whole time. I'm trying to add one more picture and I don't know if I'm going to get it, but this was, this spoke volumes to me, you guys, the old, the, the young picture and the old picture, everything in between we talk about, we call it the dash. You've heard of that, right? Right. Like the end date, we don't know what it is, but I look at that before I say before and after picture, the current uh, Pat and Tom and the, when you met young and I think of everything you've done in between. Right. And I think, would you share with the people listening right now, there was no playbook, there was no script. So what is it that you would encourage people? I imagine it's it's what we say around here, just taking the next best step in faith. That's right, that's right. And I would, um, it's like we were young, yeah, like you said, young to older. And I think, you know, having God in our marriage, um, you know, there were ups and downs. We were married 50 years, so. I think for anyone to say everything was just so beautiful, there were ups and downs and there, and we had our fights, you know, married couples can fight, but we always knew what, we always thought, what is God's will for that? And we do not believe in divorce at all because scripture says that man and woman should come together, let what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So through all that, um, you know, through that, we, we said, we got, well, this is our marriage and God's going to help us. And we're going to raise these kids and love our children. And, yeah. and I see it right there on your necklace. On yes. The cross necklace. Yes. Yes. All right. So Tom, you guys, you, you decided to take, um, 
a step forward in faith and go on this mission. Tell me a little bit about that, Tom, and, and, and join in, Patty, if you would. Okay. This mission that really kind of ignited and sparked a new friendship, communion with Christ. Right. Well, there's a, a ministry up in Moravian Falls called Destiny Encounters with Charlie Champ, who's the prophet, the teacher, the healer. And uh, Patty's been to Nairobi with him on his missions trips. And that was really hard for me to let her go. I, that scared me pretty hard to let her go to Africa like that. But God finally told me in my dream one night, you're going to let her go. And so I let her go. So then Patty, well, our mission, Patty's mission is mostly when he's just, where is he in the Malawi? Yes, right now he's coming. Yeah, from he's, there. yeah he's in Malawi. So Patty said, we're going to have the t-shirts made I for the team. And then we're going to drive them up there yes. and go to Moravian Falls and the Prayer Mountain because we have friends up there. And uh, so we had it made and it was just a beautiful time to get away. We had about two and a half days alone and it was just refreshing. So we just we just call that all a mission. And the, you know? and the t-shirts were, I think, God inspired because when I did go to Kenya, I had the t-shirt made and I knew I couldn't go on every missions trip because it would be just too hard to leave the family and it's expensive, but I would go if I could. But I thought this way I can connect with Charlie and the team by creating these t-shirts, and I do that for every mission strip they go on, I make a t-shirt. So this last time I said, let's go up to Moravian Falls to Prayer Mount. Our friend showed us around because she lives up there, our friend Anastasia, and Prayer Mount was just gorgeous. I mean, you go up, 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 up to the top of the mountain uh, where there's chairs set out and someone runs this Prayer Mountain. Yeah. And I, yeah, there's a prayer house up there. And I think you just feel the Lord, you're up there, and there has been uh, angel sightings there. Tom, you went ahead of us, and he said he's never felt, what did you feel like that, close to God? It was just so amazingly beautiful. Just with your eyes, it was beautiful. Yeah. But <clears throat> with your spirit, you could feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. You could feel the wind. You could feel the holiness in this mountain. And, and I want to say why they call Moravian Falls, too. It's because... The long story short, the Moravians came. There's the falls right there. The Moravians came from um, over in Germany, a hundred year prayer meeting, and they settled there in the United States. And they prayed around the clock for a hundred years, just had this prayer meeting where everyone would take a turn praying. So God chose that mountain to be a place for him. Amen. Amen. And I heard you guys saying about you, how you felt the Holy Spirit. Everyone always says, in my life right now. Like I said, where do you go to church? The truth is church could be the falls, the Moravian yes. falls. Yes. It could be within your household where you pray. It could be right in your heart. <laughs> in your heart, it's wherever you go. And I have goosebumps because that's the whole essence of the good stuff family. It's carrying the good stuff. Um, be See the good in others, be the good for them. And here, I love this picture. Um, this is actually what it's all about, right, um, Pat and Tom? This yes. Is it. This is me um, uh, in 2017, 18, in Nairobi, Kenya, on the mission trip to Kenya. Um, oh, it was so great. It was so great. that The country is so poor, but those people were so hungry for Christ and to receive something different. And when my friend, Charlie Champ, Evangelist, he would, we would help him. We were the team. We would pray for him. And we would go to these meetings and there was thousands and thousands and thousands of people there. And uh, they would accept Christ. He would give an altar call. And then the mir there was miracles. Like, and it's just amazing. I, sometimes I, see, I think you see more miracles out of the United States and the third world countries because, uh, you know, pe blind people were seeing, deaf people were hearing, crippled people were walking. And um, it was just so great to see that. Did you uh, show her the picture with you in the crowd? Uh, that's a, yeah, I didn't show that one. That a, yeah, that was neat. <laughs> and, and all the while, I'm, I'm, this is the most recent, what you're doing. But before, before we go into what you're seeing for your future, mm -hmm. let's also point out that you, uh, your son Price, six kids we said, and he's your youngest. Yes. And um, again, when we say we can't script, sometimes we're like, really, God, you can't script it. What, give me a window into that when you welcome Price into the world. Yes, um, we had our five children and then Price was born. Uh, his immediate uh, thing that didn't happen good was his bowel had ruptured and he had to have an operation. He was premature. He was premature by 
five weeks. So we brought him home after being in the hospital for six weeks. Um, and after time told that he was like four or five months when he wasn't sitting up and his eye gaze was off. And I said, there's something wrong. And we took him to the doctor and then we had his evaluation and I had him in early intervention at Broadmoor school. And as time went on, when he was three, we could see he wasn't improving that much. And then he was going to be staying at Broadmoor because his intellect, um, his uh, testing was that he was under a year cognitive. So here he is and he needs full help. Yeah, we were, you know, uh, there he is. <laughs> there he okay, is. Yeah. But um, I do want to say really quick that some of Price's progress were God things. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was God stuff. Yeah, because yeah. one was uh, he got prayer and uh, we're at a conference. He, he wasn't there at that time. But the man had said, your son's going to surprise you. He couldn't stand up. And the man prayed for him. And we got home. And he was in his special made bed on his knees. And he wasn't standing. And when he heard our voices, he stood right up, straight up. And then when he was nine years old, so he wasn't walking. He was only crawling around. When you put him up on his feet, he'd go down. And nine years old, we were at a, a church meeting. And someone prayed for him. And I remember the man saying, Lord, give him what he needs right now. And I brought him home in the foyer of our house. And he'd start taking one to two steps. And by the end of the week, he was walking all around the house, you know. And um, one more other thing about Price. We believe in God's healing, and we believe God's going to be touching him, touching him. And that's not the end. That Price's story is not over. We believe a uh, healing for him. Yes, it's not over. It's not, it's not over. over. Right. And th isn't that speak to all of us, not just for Price? Right. It's not over. It's like not if over. you have breath in your lungs, what do you have, God? And we say on your market set, go. Yes. Even if you're not sure well, where exactly to go, take the next best step. That's and right. every time I do these interviews, I'm talking to myself. I really am, you know, in, in how to transition from a life of broadcast news into telling stories for his glory, including my own. So that's why I'm so inspired by you. So not only did you learn how to um, encourage him to shine in his authenticity and meet him where he is in his being differently abled, then you decide, hmm, maybe I'll spend 30 years <laughs> with the other people's kids who that's are right. doing the same at Broadmoor. That's right. That's right? Right. I love this picture. And why? that's, that's why our basketball that team. That's the basketball team at um, Broadmoor School. And um, this was this year, 2023, I was the assistant gym teacher and uh, I also assistant swim teacher. But yeah, the, that's the kids I worked with. Worked with. <laughs> yeah, and I know a lot of them there and I see it. So what is it? A window quickly into people um, who haven't had the privilege of meeting people who are differently able and how um, their very authenticity inspires you. Yes. And it's like, they're so good. These children are so, they love these basketball games. And as you can see, there's wheelchairs. So that doesn't make a difference. I mean, there could be a, like the boy in the background, he can walk down the court with the ball. But if the, uh, you know, someone's in the wheelchair, we just wheel him on down, put the ball in his lap or even hold it there. And he gets to make a basket. We have smaller baskets for the wheelchairs and they just smile. So they shine two points and everyone cheers. It's fantastic. So 30 years behind you, time to retire, yes. kick back, put your feet up. But you hear this like knocking, knock, right. knock, right. knock. Tell me about that. Tom, you're privy to this. Right. Uh-huh. I just okay. want to uh, just elaborate just one more thing on Pricey that, yeah. you know, his middle name is Christian, Price right. Christian, Christian Tranter. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. we were at a uh, conference in Kansas City for, uh, it was a four day Mike, yeah. Mike Bickle and uh, Paul Kane was the prophet there. And and he uh, there was hundreds of people. And he said, you know, here's three by five cards. They passed them out. Write down your question you have for Paul. Because he's a seer. He sees things. He knows things. And I go, there's no way he's going to uh, call my name. You know, there's just hundreds of people. And I was sitting there next to Patty. And he said, Tom Tranner, stand up. <gasps> and I just started to cry immediately because I put on the card, Will my son ever walk? He wasn't walking and talk. Or be healed. Or be healed. And he said, Tom, try to stand up. And he just looked right at me. And not that he was referring to me that I thought anything so like this. He said, he is a blessing, not a curse. He is a blessing, not a curse. A child shall lead them. 
and he's and I just I mean I mean Price is such a blessing, you know. And that at that very moment, I never had any thoughts of doing anything not not keeping Price, but he said uh, Price gave him to us, and we're going to keep him. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have asked us, "How did you do it? How are you doing it?" That's right. You know, he's a thirty-three, thirty-three, thirty-three now, now yeah. and yeah. all of his needs depended on us. You know, so he's given uh, God has given Price a great Christian mother and a father who loves him, and just a great family, and all the grandchildren, all the kids, everybody loves Price. He's so handsome, and he's happy. You know, and just besides his obvious disability, doesn't mean he's not really sickly. You know, right. and we're just blessed, blessed for that. Him, yeah. But now how about the question about our future of what do we see from us, for, for, for me, um, the, the scriptlets, oh, I okay. told you that. Um, that's in the future. That's where yeah, but, and that was two years ago, though. The Lord had put on my heart to do these scriptlets, which are a bracelet with um, scripture on it. They're going to be hand sewed. And when the Lord first had me do that, even present, there it is right there. I presented it to Tom and he went, oh, really? And that was two years ago. And I was so busy working. I, I am not exaggerating. I think I thought of that every single day and would say to the Lord, I'm going to get to those scriptlets. I'm gonna, and I said to the Lord, all right, I make you a deal. I'll do it when I'm retired. When I retire, I have lots of time to make those. And I felt like, okay, go ahead. So um, I feel like those scriptlets are going to be good for uh Bible verse memorization for people to have them on their wrists. I'm going to start that in a couple months after the summer, my production of it. And um, I'm looking forward to that. And Tom, Tom said, all right, well, I I just, that's a God I, idea. You know, Patty and I agree. You're not going to say no to God, Tom, right, right. are you? <laughs> yeah, we agree on a lot. And everything about God, we're together. We agree on. We yeah. don't have any, you know, I don't believe this, I don't believe that. No, we believe together on that. Everything politically, we agree on. I'm not going to go into that. You know, I'm, I just like, and then I just, she wouldn't let it go. So I had, well, I'm going to start seeing this through her eyes. And uh, so I'm on board with that now. Yes. That's how a marriage works. That's how a marriage works. That might be the key right there. That's I love right. her. Let's see it through her eyes. And then together we can, together That's we will. Right. Yes. And then on the flip side, Tom loves to exercise. He goes to the will be why. And um, I've been up there and he does cycling and he said, come on, now that you're retired, come with me. And like, oh, do I have to go <laughs> cycle? You know, that hurts your, it just is hard to do. But I went one and I really liked it. You so went twice already. Twice already. And I'm going to continue to go and we'll go together and, you know, get good health and maybe lose some weight. I'm, now I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that's it though together we're so much better together yes true it's yes. not just some cliche bumper sticker you know? <laughs> when you said that you kept every day you kept thinking of it we call it divine design not yes mine. yes divine every design. day and i felt like and then towards the end when i was getting more to retire i was getting more got, got ideas about the scriptlets mm -hmm. these scriptures will be put into that plastic and there will be one a week um, when I sell them. And I was even thinking if someone can't afford it, I'm going to give these away. Yeah. So good for people to have that scripture on their wrist. And, yeah. um, and then I was thinking, Oh, I could number them. So once a week, they'll memorize it. And it'll be a club. It'll be the scripture club. Yeah. And then one day I was going up my basement steps. I didn't even tell Tom this, but I pictured me sewing and then saw another sewing machine. Then I pictured some of my grandchildren helping me get scriptures in, you know, start a assembly line. The grandkids are helping and a big production. So who knows how far this can go, but it's for the Lord, you know. You do have a labor force already for the Lord. Yes, yes. Right. They you made it. it. <laughs> <laughs> labor force for the Lord. I love that. So are they interchangeable scriptures? Yes, it's yeah, going to be that's a piece of plastic. The, it, the scripture will be on a piece of hard cardboard paper and they'll be interchangeable. Yes, it'll be interchangeable. Yeah. And so how will you go about um, ch choosing the scripture and then getting them to, do they come with all of them already? Yes, how that's how I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell the, the bracelet and then all the scripture that you can put in will be in that packet. Yeah, it'll be 52 scriptures. Yeah, I'm going to do one a week. One a week, yeah. yeah. And they and slip under the plastic so they're visible and they can stay dry. Right. You know, yes. So. And it's great for kids who are trying yes. to learn. Yes. And 
I love that you said, no, wait, I don't know how to sell. And what is this idea you're putting on my heart? You even made a prototype and then yes. found God in the person. Tell me that story quickly. Yes. Um, the the um, prototype was made by my friend because I had sewn way back in ninth grade, but I'm not that good at sewing. And then a, a girl that I had gone to that had taught with at Broadmoor, she's an excellent seamstress. And I went to her and she showed me how to do it. And she just we got the scriptures on the piece of paper, you know, and she just, I was really blessed for her to help me do this, you know, this bracelet. And I, I know, I do know how to sew, but I have to just get it down pat, you know. You said down pat and you <laughs> didn't even mean to, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And it just opened up this opportunity for you, Tom, you, you're probably not surprised knowing the calling that was on your beautiful wife's heart and knowing how God works. Right. She uh, just has a real heart for this. And, you know, I do not, I, I am on board and I'm going to help and do what I can. But, you know, when God lays something up on your heart, you know, you go after it when you know, you know, that, you know, that, you know, and that's a old saying in the Christian circles, you know, that, you know, that, you know, and Patty knows, you know, more of a, my heart is for uh, people, you know, I'm a people lover and uh, I always talk to people. I open up and I have so many friends at the Y, you know, cause that's a pretty nice place to be. It's a Christian organization. And even all the greeters at Walmart, everybody knows me. They're all hugging me and we hug and hi, I know their names and, and Patty goes, how do you do that? See, now she doesn't have that same calling as I do for people, you know, and I don't go, you know, for the lost or whatever. I, I talk to them and become a friend of theirs. And then the opportunity will present itself where, you know, religion will come up or God will come up. And that's when now, you know, I even hear the, I even hear it now. And, uh, do it. But I have a plan to give him the scripturalists and he can have them in his pocket and give them to the people. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you so much. And again, as a news reporter, we listen for sound bites and you just were full of them just then that that encapsulates everything. Those are words of wisdom from experience. So I can't thank you enough for sharing this. Now, is there somewhere people can go to find these bracelets yet? Or is it really in the super early stages? It's kind of really in the early super stages. Um, I will have uh, my daughter, also my daughter-in-law is a marketing director and she's going to help me market them. So um, yeah, it's in the early stages and um, we'll come on again. Yeah. We'll when come on again. Or, yeah, I'm going to promote this. On, You're doing um, t-shirts too. Yes. The t-shirts. Yeah. To send to those missionaries. Who That's are going, right. Yeah. So it would be like you're there. Okay. Anything else that you guys want to add? I hate to even let you go as is the case with people, but we're going to be friends. I can tell right now. Yes. Uh, yes. God yeah. leaves and I'll watch them work is what we say, but anything else that you'd like to add before we wrap this up? You were just very thankful for our life. We have a really good life together. Um, you know, we have a beautiful home, a beautiful, all the cars and you know, God is really taking care of us. And I think it's mainly because of, we take communion together every day. And that we pray together. We pray for our family. We pray for the sick that we know. We pray for, you know, a lot of family members that are going through things, you know, now and then. And even us, we go through things. You know, like Patty had shingles that was really horrific on her. And, you know, I had an issue with a foot or something. And, you know, we go through things too. But overall, we're just very blessed and very lucky that we are together. And I believe like when I had those shingles with their ocular shingles or when has pain, everyone's going to get something wrong with them at some time or another. But we don't believe that's from God. We so don't. we would pray, Jesus, you help us. You heal me. And we trust in him. And how you go through something when you're sick is really important too. You have to keep your eyes on the Lord in prayer, read the word and don't get discouraged. I, sick people i could see where they oh, might get discouraged not, not hard but god doesn't want them that way so they have to hang in there and pray and find someone that's going to pray with them you know that's our theory i can only imagine the people you're speaking to right now who are hearing it now we'll hear this again on the replay yeah. again if you're listening in podcast mode only you can go to the goodstufffamily.com and that's where you'll find the video links to the tom and patty Trantner's story, the dynamic duo <laughs> for God. Uh, I just thank you. And I pray right now, Father God, that you would just bless yes. this couple you, exponentially. Lord. 
exponentially yes, is Lord. our prayer and that you would um, show people like through their example, like you're doing now, uh, what it means to be a true, a true follower and a friend of yours. Mm -hmm. um, and I thank you. I thank you for thank the weaving you. that brought us to them. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. We pray. Amen. All right, guys. I appreciate you. This is what thank we say you. when we wrap these things up. We say, see the good and be the good on your mark. Get set. Let's go. Amen. Thank you, John, so much. All right. Thanks again. All right. Bye-bye. You you. Bye this has been a Grassroots Good Stuff Family production. Big love and gratitude to our friend Carlos Jones, who is the talented voice and creator behind this music that sets the tone for these good stuff stories. Huge gratitude and love as well for our social media director. She is Danielle Folk and is consistently going above and beyond. Follow her at Farmhouse Storyteller. And to the producer, my Travi, the glue that holds together the moving parts of this God-inspired endeavor. TheGoodStuffFamily.com is where you'll find links for all the things we're doing, including how to be a sponsor of a story. So grateful for our faithful sponsors who have already made so much of what we do possible. And of course, big love and gratitude for you, the listeners, helping to grow this Good Stuff Family Tree 2023. Welcome to the family.